Hello, this is Pavan. Welcome to technofilesup.com. Today, I would like to speak on meta asset tag that you see in a HTML page. There are many things that will go into a single HTML page, but we often ignore them. And one among them is a character encoding, which we define as a meta tag. As you know, computers speak in binary language and this character encoding declaration helps your browser to translate the binary data and display as the characters that you see on the screen. But before moving ahead to the syntax of character encoding, let me show you the problem that you might face if you don't declare the character encoding. I have written the character O here in French and left the browser to interpret the character encoding without defining any meta asset tag over here. And here it is showing in this way. And that's the problem. Uh, let me open the syntax of uh, character set definition in HTML4. Probably you might have noticed it before when you are randomly copying the syntax of it, but might have not paid any serious attention to it. To explain the statement here, usually HTTP header handles the character encoding, but in some cases the header can be unreliable. To deal with these issues, we began to put the character encoding in the web page itself as a way to control how the pages are translated. In this snippet of code, the meta tag is used to define the HTML content is being sent with the character encoding UTF-8. The browser will now know how to accurately transfer translate and render the characters in the document. This code just works fine, but HTML5 specification has simplified the life a bit simpler for everyone. Let's go and define the meta tag and see how our, how our document looks now after defining the character set. And for your information, this is how it is looking as of now. If I define the character encoding as UTF-8, and the definition goes in this way, meta cassette and declare UTF-8. Let me save it and reload the page. So after defining the meta cassette tag, now the document is being displayed properly. So this is one of the must definitions for your HTML page to display the document properly and translate properly. Hope you liked the tutorial. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.